Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the VCSU Percussion Concert. My name is Dustin Mallory. I'm the Director of Percussion Studies here at VCSU. I'd like to just start by extending a big thank you to all the parents, family members, friends, administrators, staff members, uh, faculty members, and everyone in the VCSU community for being here this evening to support these students and to support live music. That first piece that you heard was Tycho by Dr. Scott Harding. Um, Dr. Harding serves on the faculty of Central Michigan University, uh, teaching in theory and composition, along with the composer David Gillingham. Um, Dr. Harding and I actually attended the same high school. Um, he graduated long before me. I have never actually met him, but we've corresponded through email, but we're both Cassidy High School grads, so it's awesome for me to be able to put his work on the program this evening. Um, I'd also like to mention that inside your program, inside the left, uh, there are some program notes this evening. We're doing a lot of different music, different styles, different genres, and so I thought it might be helpful to provide some program notes that you can kind of read along as the uh, concert moves. Also just wanted to point out that we have a few moves that will take place throughout the evening, so bear with us, we really appreciate your patience as we move some equipment around. Um, the next piece is Trio by John Cage, enjoy.
while the students are resetting the stage for the next uh, number, I just wanted to point out two things about this group. Um, those of you that were at the November instrumental concert uh, remember that we did a percussion ensemble piece that evening, and it was pretty well received, and so the students and I chatted about it and said, well, do we want to keep doing this and maybe do it on a more permanent basis? And we decided, yeah, and got a concert on the schedule for this evening. Um, but it was sort of a last minute thing. We made these decisions in December, and so um, we weren't able to do this as a class. So I went to them and said, we'd just be doing this as a club. Maybe we could all find an hour once a week where we could rehearse. And not only were they all able to do that, but I don't have the grade to dangle over their heads to say, oh, you need to come to rehearsal, otherwise you're gonna be in trouble. And they all came, I have basically perfect attendance the whole semester. So these students put in a lot of hard work to make this happen, called rehearsals of their own, on their own time without me, so I'm really proud of their efforts. Um, the second thing I wanted to point out is that all of the percussionists that you're hearing from this evening are all freshmen or sophomores. So there are no juniors or seniors in our studio, so um, I'm really proud of their work. Um, as musicians, but also being such young musicians, and I kind of think to the future two years down the road when they're juniors and seniors, and there'll be a whole new crop of freshmen and sophomores um, here to play along with them. So give them a big round of applause for that. The next piece on the program is Red River Valley. Enjoy. For the next two selections, we're actually going to feature a couple soloists. Um, we have some really fine soloists in our percussion studio, um, 
and two of them had approached me about uh, perhaps playing a couple things this evening. Um, one sort of downside of um, music school a little bit, no matter where you are, is that you spend a lot of time working really hard on solo repertoire, and usually you only get to play at one of three places, in your jury at the end of the semester for a grade for the professors, or in your studio class for your fellow musicians, or on a small recital, maybe on like a Tuesday morning like we do here. But very rarely do you get a chance to perform it for the public. So I wanted to give these two students uh, that opportunity this evening. So we're gonna hear from Theo on the marimba and Carter on the timpani.
Before we play the next piece, I just want to recognize um, some high school students uh, that are here this evening um, from West Fargo, Cheyenne, and some students from right here in town, Valley City High School, um, fellow drummers that came out, drummed along with some of the college students. Um, there's also, I know, some folks in Enderlin and in Oaks and in many of the Fargo schools that are watching the live stream this evening, uh, part of our little drummer fellowship, our little drummer family. So hello to all of you and thank you for coming, appreciate it. The next piece is Easy to Love and this is going to feature Theo on the improvised vibraphone solo.
before we play our final selection, I just want to uh, extend a couple of thank yous um, to Professor Letelier and Professor Jimenez um, for working on sound for us, Professor Heidi for helping out um, with the concert this evening, um, also Paula Larson, our faculty secretary, who does so much for us, helps us out. Um, also want to uh, extend a big thank you to folks working on the live stream and making sure the recording goes out. We really appreciate that too. This final piece is called James by Pat Matheny. And this is going to feature our engine room, Jonathan on the congos, Professor Heidi on the bongos, and Carter Gill on the drums. Yeah, I'm safe. Thank you so much.